हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पाठशाला आई एम शगुन शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस इन गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज फॉर गर्ल्स सेक्टर 42 चंडीगढ़ द पेपर इज फॉरेन पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया एंड मॉड्यूल इज इंडिया अफगानिस्तान रिलेशन इंडिया हैज अ नो डायरेक्ट लिंक विद अफगानिस्तान एज फार एज लैंड टेरिटरी इज कंसर्न बट स्टिल अफगानिस्तान हैज ऑलवेज provided a transit route to invaders to invade india right since historical times for example the huns mongols and the mughals now afghanistan is at a very strategic position from where india can seek its gateway towards central asia which is very important as far as natural resources are concerned but india needs to find stability and peace in afghanistan to have overall development of south asia region for india afghanistan has always remained an area of high priority due to historical political cultural and geographical reasons having been a victim of power game in post world war 2 afghanistan considered india a natural ally due to non aligned policy both the countries developed their relations on these lines during cold war period in post cold war period afghanistan draws special attention and importance in indian perspective in the light of its deteriorating relations with pakistan on the one hand and the emergence of fundamentalist taliban on the other hand these new emerging trends in this region are bone of contention and going to provide problems for india security besides afghanistan's importance in indian perspective is also perceived due to its role as a transit route provider towards central asia's natural resources through this module an effort will be made to apprise the students about the real nature of india's relations with afghanistan Afghanistan has always remained hotbed for power struggle in cold war period India as an immediate neighbor could not remain mere spectator in this scenario the importance of india's stake in afghanistan is further highlighted because of india's not so friendly relations with china and pakistan it could not take risk to ignore afghanistan in its policy orientation on the other hand historical and cultural links provide common ties of interests which have formed the basis of friendly relations therefore it becomes imperative to understand and evaluate the historical perspective about the origin of their relationship besides this is also important to know about the importance of afghanistan as transit route facilitator to enriched central asia in indian perspective by doing so one can analyze the real nature of india's relations with afghanistan this will not only prove beneficial for the students but foreign policy architects and strategists could also use basic clues in policy formulation historical evaluation india and afghanistan have shared much in common being the nation states there was demographic composition commonality in form of legacies of struggle against british imperialism and non aligned posture in post world war 2 had provided the platform for common understanding but it could not happen and remain to be unexplored for much most of the time ethnic rivalry and big power game changed the entire scenario in this region soviet intervention in afghanistan and rise of fundamentalist taliban had changed all contours of india's foreign policy in the late 20th century but after the demise of taliban in 2001 afghanistan has emerged as the core area in indian foreign policy objectives India had done a lot of to rearrange its ties with Afghanistan. The latter has also shown great maturity and close understanding towards Indian perspective. In order to make an objective analysis of all these initiatives, it is better to start with brief acknowledgement of their relationship from early past to till date. India's relations with Afghanistan could be discussed in following broad spectrum. period of cordial and mutual understanding shared history and interests of india and afghanistan have contributed to a close and cordial linkage in the initial stage of their relationship afghanistan participated in the asian conferences in march 1947 and january 1949 held with the direct indian initiatives 
being the landlocked state afghanistan was the firm believer of maintaining a policy of neutrality in power politics hence pursued the policy of friendship with all states this posture had converged with india's policy of non alignment in its international relations their views on several other issues were also similar such as colonialism world peace and equal opportunities of progress as nation state at bilateral level both india and afghanistan signed the treaty of friendship in 1950 it formalized full diplomatic relations and gave boost to political economic and cultural interaction from the geo strategic point of view there has always been a strong convergence of interests between the two hostile relations with pakistan have compelled india and afghanistan to share common approach with this immediate neighbor another similarity was noticed that international politics made both india and afghanistan aligned towards soviet union gradually they became main buyers of military equipment for security arrangements from soviet union in this period both countries shared common approach on various issues related to international politics only thing that brought some tense moments for india was the sino india war of 1962 Afghanistan remained reluctant in condemning China's aggression hence India could not take it as India China posture this is clearly shown by high level visits taken place from indian side at that time president radhakrishnan's visit of 1963 foreign minister swan singh's visit of 1964 vice president zakir hussain's visit of 1966 and prime minister indira gandhi's visit of 1969 were the clear indication of mutual understanding and faith between india and afghanistan the afghan side also was not far behind in reciprocal visits to india in economic relations both the countries agreed to bring about more systematic trade arrangements through these visits india offered its training facilities in the areas of agriculture and small scale industries an indian exports team also visited to explore available opportunities there and several projects were outlined a joint commission was also established at ministerial level to explore the various areas of mutual benefits by taking care of respective resources and capabilities of each other's country period of confusion and policy absence afghanistan had started to experience political instability at domestic front in the decade of 1970s King Muhammad Zahir Shah was deposed by his cousin Daud Khan who took control of the government after that this power game became more complicated as Muhammad Daud Khan was also overthrown by Noor Muhammad Taraki in a coup and become president Hafizullah Amin became the power center under this regime he tried to enforce total control over tribal society with a brutal and violent handed fashion it gave birth to widespread revolt among the masses Simultaneously Soviet presence and influence had been growing in Afghanistan in this decade. The ongoing power struggle between Hafizullah Amin and Taraki Babrak Karmal paved the way to Soviet military invasion in 1979. Soviet Union imposed communist government in in Afghanistan. It destroyed the traditional neutrality of Afghanistan. With the active participation of US and Pakistan's ISI, Afghanistan was transformed into hotbed of jihad ideology. After that, Afghanistan turned out to be a failed state from a buffer state in war-like situation. India was the only South Asian country to recognize communist government headed by Najibullah after the Soviet invasion of 1979. It fully supported and provided financial aid to Afghanistan government during this period. Although India supported this government till the takeover of Afghanistan by Taliban, yet India could not do much more in bilateral relations. It was not in a position to play any role there due to economic and strategic constraints. Indian leadership also showed some reluctant approach towards Soviet intervention in Afghanistan. It took the stand of neutrality and gave emphasis on the recall of Soviet army from Afghanistan without any delay. It was understood that the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi wanted to retain its non-aligned posture in third world countries and wanted to maintain some distance towards Soviet Union. It created some confusion in the policy orientation towards Afghanistan. Besides, situation in Afghanistan worsened day by day with the direct confrontation between Soviet 
गार्ड एंड अफगान मुजाहिदीन एडेड बाय फॉरेन पावर्स द रेपिड पोलिटिसाइजेशन ऑफ इस्लाम एंड इमरजेंस ऑफ अ मिलिटेंट इस्लामिक फंडामेंटलिस्ट मूवमेंट टुक प्लेस इन दिस कंट्री After that, India's relation remained in a situation of adjournment with Afghanistan in this hostile scenario. Period of hostile and nefarious activities. The conflict situation in this country has taken a new turn following the Soviet demise. Afghanistan has continued to be remaining epicenter of massive military confrontation. After that, struggle among different ethnic and tribal groups started primarily in order to win control over the central power. Religious extremist forces led by Burhanuddin Rabbani supported by Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and UAE seized power there. But this area remained hot spot of ethnic conflict and rivalry in this war ravaged Afghanistan. The phenomenon of Taliban came to forefront in Afghanistan in the year of 1994. The continuous bleeding and war-like situation ultimately led to a crippled and seriously injured economy and political system. India's foreign policy had no space in this bizarre and changed situation due to emerging role of Pakistan. Taliban and Al Qaeda supported by Pakistan took over the reins of Afghanistan. It brought complete breakdown in Indian presence there. India lost all political and diplomatic links with Afghanistan. The destruction of the Bamiyan Buddha monuments and hijacking of Indian Airlines flight 814 and its landing in Kandahar had reflected the nefarious design of hostile Taliban towards India. It led to outrage and furious response from Indian side as it became key supporter of the anti-Taliban Northern Alliance and provided economic and strategic aid. India also offered its all type of strategic support for the US led coalition forces in the war against Taliban in 2001 in the light of 9/11 tragedy. It led to overthrow of the oppressive rule of Taliban from Afghanistan. Period of re-strengthening of the mutual relations. After the demise of Taliban rule in November 2001 and and establishment of interim government in Kabul, bitter experiences of Taliban regime made India to rethink Afghanistan with more cautious approach. Since then India has been engaged with Afghanistan at bilateral and multilateral platforms. India established diplomatic links with the upgradation of Indian liaison officers to embassy there. It also established consulate missions in <coughs> Mazar-e-Sharif, Herat, Kandahar and Jalalabad. It has played an important role in the reconstruction and rehabilitation progress in Afghanistan. India is also actively participating in various meetings that concluded for the strengthening of Afghanistan setup. These efforts could be analyzed in these broad spectrums. Active participation in various meetings for the reconstruction in Afghanistan. India was among the 21 countries that participated in the meetings held at New York in November and December 2001 in which the issue of interim authority and reconstruction of Afghanistan was the main agenda Indian special envoy Satish Lamba participated as observer in Bonn conference held from November 27 to December 5 2001 Arun Chauri Minister of Disinvestment led the Indian delegation in the Tokyo ministerial meeting India actively took part in every steering group meeting of donors and Afghan support group meetings held time to time India with the collaboration of UNDP organized a joint conference on South South cooperation and reconstruction of Afghanistan in May 2002 Foreign Minister of India attended the Friends of Afghanistan meeting in September 2002. Foreign Secretary led the Indian delegation to the international conference Afghanistan and the International Community a Partnership for the Future held in Berlin on March 31st to April 1, 2004. high level visits since 2002 large number of exchanges of high level visits of delegates governmental private commercial entrepreneurial have been undertaken between the two since 2002 to explore the possibilities of mutual grounds for enhancing cooperation president karzai has visited india in 2002 3 5 6 7 10 11 12 13 14 india granted millions of dollars for reconstruction work in afghanistan besides various agreements were also envisaged in the field of civil aviation 
road construction, media, rural development and education in these visits. These frequent visits of President Karzai to India have been reflected the real political and strategic partnership between the two countries in these areas. From Indian side, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh paid reciprocal visits to Afghanistan in 2005 and 2011. Financial aid and assistance. India has approved US dollars 2 billion approximately as an economic aid and assistance to Afghanistan in these years. Besides, it has already invested uh, US dollar 10.8 billion in Afghanistan's infrastructural projects as of 2012. For a country like India, this is a significant contribution despite economic crunch. India's support and collaboration extends to the rebuilding of air links, power plants, health, education and transport. It is also providing training to civil servants, diplomats, police and giving scholarships to students. India has established Indian medical missions in four major cities that is Kabul, Mazar-e-Sharif, Kandahar and Herat for free medical service and medicines. Gifting of ambulances, voltage stabilizer, heating and plumbing systems and setting up of the maternity ward were the other initiatives taken in this regard. Besides, wheat was also supplied for production in agriculture sector. It is likely to start functioning very soon various projects by Indian government. In education sector, India reconstructed and renovated the Habiba school in Kabul. A computer laboratory is also established there recently. India also awarded 500 scholarships and training slots each to the Afghan students annually under ICCR and ITEC projects during those years. India is also collaborating in setting up of India-Afghanistan Vocational Training Center for training 3,000 students in the trade of carpentry, plumbing, welding, masonry and tailoring. Indian NGO has established women's vocational training centers in Bage Zanana for training of 1,000 women in the areas of garment making, nursery, plantation and food processing and marketing. 30 Indian civil servants were deputed in Afghanistan government institution for the training and developmental activities. Jawaharlal Nehru Chair of Indian Studies at Kabul University is also established in these days. During the visit of Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh in 2011, 1,000 buses were donated to Afghanistan for smooth transport facilities in Kabul and other municipalities. It also gave 500 tractors for Afghan farmers. Development of various projects. India has taken a number of medium and large infrastructure projects in Afghanistan. The Indian Army Border Road Organization constructed a land route in the northwest region connecting the city of Delaram to Zarang in 2009. It has provided Afghanistan a direct access to the Iranian port of Chabahar. It will reduce the Afghanistan sea route dependence on Pakistan. India also constructed 22 DC transmission line from Pule Khumri to Kabul for hurdle free supply of electricity. It also established another substations at Chimtala, Doshi and Charikar. India's role in construction of Salma Dam in Herat and Afghanistan Parliament and Indira Gandhi Hospital in Kabul showed the real involvement in Afghanistan and greatly praised by all sections of society there. India also expanded national TV network by providing an uplink from Kabul and downlinks in all 34 provincial capitals. Trade. India's trade with Afghanistan in 2006 to 7 was approximately 216 million. It showed some growth in the years to come and it reached at US dollars 588 million in the financial year of 2012 to 13. Some other initiatives. India proposed Afghanistan's membership in SARC in 2005 and finally included as the 8th member of SAFTA and SARC in 2007 during New Delhi summit. Afghanistan will receive the benefit of zero import duty on its export to India and get linked with other South Asia countries also. India has signed a strategic partnership agreement in 2011 with Afghanistan and formalized a framework for cooperation in areas of political and security cooperation, trade and economic cooperation, capacity development and education, and social, cultural, civil society and people-to-people -people relations. It gave a major boost in their bilateral relations. 
India will provide assistance in rebuilding Afghanistan's infrastructure and institutions, encouraging investment in natural resources, and support for an Afghanistan led. Afghanistan owned broad based and inclusive process of peace and reconciliation. Indian private sector thus has been investing in the Hijigak iron ore reserve for the long term investment and sustainable development. Besides a steel plant by sale and an 800 megawatt power plant are likely to be completed very soon there. India hosted the Delhi Investment Summit on Afghanistan in June 2012 to forge cross-country partnership for investment there. Around 350 delegates from India, China, Iran, Pakistan and Afghanistan participated in this event. It was the pioneer effort done by India in promoting direct investment in this economically starved state of Afghanistan. India also hosted senior official meetings of the Heart of Asia countries in New Delhi in January 2014 for the promotion of trade, commerce and investment process in Afghanistan. With the change of regime in Kabul, the new president Ashraf Ghani sought to realign their relations with its neighbors. His changed stance towards Pakistan and China raised some serious questions regarding India's position and added worries to its positive gesture. Although the visit of President Ashraf Ghani in April 2015 and his open criticism of Pakistan's hostile policy towards Afghanistan recently has brought some sight of relief in Indian camp. In this visit, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi reiterated India's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations with Afghanistan. India also delivered three advanced country-built Cheetal helicopters desperately needed by Afghan National Army. To conclude, we can say that India's interest in Afghanistan are broadly linked with its peace and stability. If India finds a politically stable Afghanistan, both the countries can mutually benefit, benefit each other. So therefore, India should also look into several multilateral and regional developments and help Afghanistan in rebuilding itself. In fact, India has uh, provided sufficient aid to Afghanistan after its post-Taliban years. India has also been uh, a major helping hand in developing Afghanistan as far as infrastructure is concerned and education is concerned. So Afghanistan and India has always shared peaceful and cordial relationship. In fact, India was the first country to recognize Afghanistan when it became a communist country in 1970s.